I'm Hadley Hall here with Representative Mac Butcher today. Welcome to CHS. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. Well, um, how do you think uh, CHS is going? This it's, it's exciting. We got to go with Mr. Bolton and Dr. Bolton and Dr. Griffith out on the side of the new building, and it's really amazing to see all that's coming up. I really enjoyed learning about the storm shelter. Yeah. What's going into that? But to see all the possibilities of what's going on and how soon. Next year, yes, are, you a, are you a senior? Yes, I am. So you won't get to go, will you? No, sir, I won't. Come back and look at it. <laughs> yes, I will. So what was your purpose of being here today? Today is Learning with Legislators Day. That's what it is. That's kind of, I think that's what it's called. Okay. But the State Department of Education encouraged schools, local schools, to invite their legislators to visit their schools mm -hmm. to see all the things that are going on, so especially here. We're supposed to go to the primary school in the east, but uh, I've got to go to some county schools, so I'm not going to get to do that today. Uh, but just to get to go to schools and, and see what's going on is really important to us. Okay, so you're going around the schools and you're just checking out the classrooms and what they're doing in general? Yeah, to find out uh, what some needs are, because uh, mm -hmm. in the legislature we are responsible for funding education, and so uh, we need to know what needs are, and it's, it's helpful to learn that firsthand rather than reading it in a report or something. Right, that makes sense. So um, what are your plans for um, funding public schools in the legislature? Well, the first thing that's most important is to know how much money you're going to have. Right. And then we will use all the money we're going to have. One of the things that's happening right now, though, in 2009, there was money borrowed for the budget that year and that has to be paid back by 2015, which is only 18 months away, or what, 13 months away now, 14 months away. So that has to be paid back. So uh, we're going to be paying that back over the next couple of years. So the, the, the really education is underfunded in many areas, but it's because we need to pay this money back right now. And tax revenues have been low. So the re revenues have been low. There are some commitments, financial commitments, that have to be met. So when you put those two together, it's going to be another couple of years before there's the kind of funding for education that we, that we want to begin to build again. Right. And um, are there any things that you're already looking at that you want to build on when you can? Uh, one thing that's really important to me is, uh, is career tech. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, one thing that, that we have in Alabama uh, right now, graduation the dropout rate, the, the, the dropout rate's about 36 percent, right. and the, the goal is to reduce that to 10 percent by 2010, 2020. So uh, one of the ways I think that's going to happen is, is through more emphasis on career tech. We know that not everybody needs to go to college. Uh, a great percentage of Colton High School kids go to college, and, and that's important. But uh, when we begin to look at the number of students, not necessarily from Colvin High School, but the number of students who began college and the ones who finished four years later, mm -hmm. that percentage is real low. And the ones who finish ever is not what it could be. What hap what's happening though, so a lot of kids are going to college, they're finding that's not where they're supposed to be. So it'd be important for them to go back and pick up some skills and career tech can prepare them for that. Uh, what the State Board of Education calls is college and career ready standards or, or curriculum. So, so to be ready for college, those who want to go to college, and be ready for a career, those who don't want to go to college and get, get into career. Right. And I know that um, when I'm in multimedia production, we have credentials that we're trying to get. So, yeah. and a lot of people that get those credentials have a great opportunity to go in the workforce right after high school. Yeah. So I understand what you're talking about well, there. And, and Sometimes you have to get post-secondary, post-high right. school credentials. You have to do a little bit more to get those. Mm -hmm. But uh, depending on what you wanted to do, you might, within two years of finishing high school, have a, a very good job. Especially, take a welder, uh, somebody who gets a welding certification as soon as they can, either in high school. Very few get it in high school. Some do, very few do. Most of them have to go post-secondary. But some of them are making sixty seven thousand dollars a year to start mm -hmm. when they uh, you do that. So uh, that's 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 pretty good money for somebody who wants to buy a four wheel drive and a boat. <laughs> I understand that. And how do you think technology is improving in our schools, and how do you think it affects 
everyone is in the home. Well, that's that's really the amazing part that that we're sort of behind on to some degree in Alabama. Mm -hmm. We have an initiative right now, I don't know if it's going to pass or not because it'll take a $100 million bond issue to do it, but to put uh, uh, iPads or some sort of uh, either laptops or something in the hands of every student in the state of Alabama within four years. Uh, there's some issues with that. Uh, my, my, my grandchildren are schooling in Auburn and my grandson has had a laptop or my older grandson who's in 11th grade now has had a brat laptop since he was in 7th grade, I believe. Oh, wow. And uh, so they have, he has all his uh, books in there uh, and does his homework in that. So those sort of things are really important. Uh, I think in the city of Coleman, we can do that pretty quickly because of the bandwidth and all things we have available. Right. But in, and I think they already, you already have that. In Coleman too, I mm -hmm. think don't you don't you yes, have individual we do. yeah, uh, but out in the county there's some issues with that because of some of the schools and the distance they have. So uh, statewide, it's it's uh, some some pockets like Coleman it'll be fairly easy to do, but then there's some pockets it'll be difficult to do. But to have uh, some sort of Wi-Fi available at every school and hopefully and when the kids go home they can have it somehow too. Mm -hmm. I understand that. And uh, one last question for you. Many politicians bring up that we need to keep in touch and with emerging economies such as India and China and Brazil. How do you think that we need to keep up with American schools, especially public schools, um, which is the majority of the youth today? Well, what the, what the State Board of Education has adopted, the College Career Standards, mm -hmm. is one way to deal with that. I was looking at some things today about uh, those standards and how they are teaching kids to think rather than just spout off. I can I can still do all my multiplication tables through 12 times 12. I learned those <laughs> 55, 60 years ago. Right. Uh, but uh, when I was looking at some of the problems that even third graders have when I was looking at some of that curriculum, I, I, I didn't do those things till seventh and eighth grade, and I had difficulty with them then. Yes, it's really so, difficult. So the the for us to be is in, in pre K. I have daughters pre teaching pre K in, in in Huntsville, and for those pre K kids to have the opportunity to learn and learn at younger age, and, and those those are things going to make a, a difference for us. In a sense, we're, we've got some catching up to do, but uh, the possibilities for the kind of teachers we have, the kind of administrators we have, and the kind of students that we have, uh, we're not behind anybody really. We're just uh, going things in a different way than yeah. some other places are doing. I think we put emphasis on some things that are more important uh, for, for us maybe than some other countries do too. Right. Well, thank you very much. And, thank you for um, the opportunity. Yes, I hope we get to see you again soon. Thank you. So. We'll get it too.